Hi, I'm Dr. Incognito. In this video, we'll talk about diagonalizing a matrix. So first, let's suppose that A is an n by n matrix. To say that A is diagonalizable means that there exists a diagonal matrix, D, such that D is equal to P inverse times A times P, where P is an invertible n by n matrix. So the first question is, is A diagonalizable? And to answer this question, we investigate the eigenspaces of A. So recall, lambda is an eigenvalue of A if AX is equal to lambda X for some X not equal to the zero vector. This is equivalent to saying that lambda I minus A times X is equal to the zero vector. <clears throat> so to determine if lambda is an eigenvalue of the matrix A, we want the matrix lambda I minus A to be non- to be singular, you do not want it to have an inverse. If this matrix does not have an inverse, then there will be a non-trivial solution to the homogeneous system. So in other words, we would like the determinant of lambda i minus a to be zero. <clears throat> so this uh, determinant of lambda i minus a, this will be a polynomial of degree n, where a is an n by n matrix, polynomial of degree n, in the variable lambda. So the eigenvalues of the matrix A will be the solutions to this polynomial equation. <clears throat> uh, now, to answer the question, is A diagonalizable, we have to consider what are called the eigenvectors, the x's the eigenvectors of the matrix A. So x not equal to 0 is called an eigenvector of A if Ax is equal to lambda x for some eigenvalue, lambda. So suppose lambda is an eigenvalue of A, and consider what I'll call E sub lambda to be the set of all x such that Ax is equal to lambda x. This would be <clears throat> the set of all eigenvectors of A associated with the eigenvalue lambda. This is called the eigenspace. The reason it's called an eigenspace is because E sub lambda, which is a subset of Rn, because these vectors x are in Rn, <clears throat> because A is an n by n matrix. So here the vector x is in the column vector in Rn. So E sub lambda is a subspace of Rn. <clears throat> we won't prove that here. But it can be proven directly by showing that the sum of two eigenvectors is an eigenvector, and a uh, multiple of an eigenvector is an eigenvector. Uh, so, returning to the question of is A diagonalizable, if we take the summation of the dimensions of all of the eigenspaces, so I'll call them E sub lambda i, where i is 1 to k. So I'm assuming here that the matrix A has k different uh, eigenvalues. If we add the dimensions of all of the corresponding eigenspaces, then we should get the size of the matrix N. So A is diagonalizable if and only if the sum of the dimensions of the eigenspaces is n.
So let's just look at uh, a pseudo example. Suppose we have a matrix A, which is 7 by 7. And let's suppose that the determinant of lambda i minus a, this is a polynomial that would be of degree 7, called the characteristic polynomial. Let's suppose that the characteristic polynomial is the following. We'll call it p of lambda. Suppose it's equal to lambda minus 3 squared times lambda plus 2 cubed times lambda minus 1 times lambda plus 1. Notice that's a polynomial of degree 7. <clears throat> then that means that the eigenvalues are set the polynomial equal to 0. 3, negative 2, 1, and negative 1. The eigenvalues are 3, negative 2, 1, and negative 1. So we're interested in the dimension of the eigenspaces. So for each eigenvalue, here is a, uh, a general rule. The dimension of an eigenspace, let's talk about the eigenspace associated with the eigenvalue 3. The dimension is always at least 1. Because 3 is an eigenvalue, there is a non-zero eigenvector. So that vector will be in the subspace E3. So it will be at least one dimensional. And then uh, the rule is that the dimension of the eigenspace is always less than or equal to uh, the multiplicity of the eigenvalue as a root of the characteristic polynomial. So the eigenvalue 3 is a root of the characteristic polynomial of multiplicity 2. So the dimension of the eigenspace will never exceed 2. So for the others, the dimension of E sub negative 2 is at least 1. And it's no more than 3. And for the other two, the multiplicity is 1. And so the dimension of those eigenspaces must equal 1. here. The dimension of E1 is 1, and the dimension of E negative 1 is 1. So is this matrix diagonalizable? Well, it is if the sum of the dimensions is 7 in this example. So in order for the sum of the dimensions to be 7, the dimension of E3 would have to be the maximum possible 2. The dimension of E sub minus 2 would have to be the maximum possible 3. And these two, well, there's no choice there. 1 will work. 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 7. So A is diagonalizable if and only if the dimension of E3 is 2 and the dimension of E sub minus 2, negative 2, is 3.